In this Knowledge Smart support video, we will run through the different types of questions that you might come across in a Knowledge Smart assessment. As you can see on the screen here, there are about nine different types of questions that can be included in any custom uh, assessment content. So here is an example of our first type of question, which is a true or false question. This question type is straightforward. Users must read the statement or question on the screen and decide if they think it's tr if it's true or false. So they will simply make their selection here, true or false, and then of course submit their answer accordingly. The second type of question that you might come across is an order list question type. This question type requires the users to place several items in the correct sequence. They need to drag and drop the answer options until they have the correct order. This type of question might be very good for assessing for a specific workflow or sequence of steps. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are designing any custom content. Now over to our next type of question, which is matching list. This question type asks the user to correctly identify or match the relationship between the two lists of data. So in this case, we are asked to match cities to countries. So the user would have to drag the correct city over to the country on the right hand side. So that is how this question type works. Next up, we have complete the blank. This question type asks the user to fill in one or more blank fields or select from a list of available options in a sentence or paragraph. So in this case, those are the drop down options defined here. And the user would make their selection. Our essay type question asks the user to write a longer answer to a question. This will not be automatically marked as it is more subjectively reviewed and of course requires manual scoring by the system administrators. Here is a good example of our next question type, which of course is multiple choice. Here, the user has to read the question wording and then select the appropriate option from the list of available options. With multiple choice questions, the user will have to select only one option. If you have a question in mind that might require the user to select more than one answer, our next question type will be most appropriate and that is called pick list. And with the pick list option, the user would read the question wording and then make the selection. This would typically be a multiple selection from the list provided. What is handy with this question type is that you can also control how the question is marked. So if they select uh, one option correct, but the other option is incorrect, you have the option to apply partial scoring. The last question type is called a free text question. And this is where the user has to answer um, in free text format, either a numerical answer or then a text based answer. Once again, with these type of questions, you control whether it is a numerical question so that you can give them a formatting hint or um, also apply special marking rules around white spaces or the use of capitals. So if I show you what that looks like in practice, over here we can see this specific question has a numerical answer. We have the option to indicate that. We have the option to allow variance if we feel that it is appropriate and indicate a lower and upper variance um, level. And then we can also say what is the percentage score that we want to apply. As I said, we can offer them a precision hint because in this case it is a numerical answer or if you, if you prefer not to just have that option unticked.
Similarly, if the answer is text-based, we have the option to apply this case and white space variance in this question type, which means that if users enter the answer in a specific case or perhaps add an additional white space, they will not be unnecessarily uh, penalized for, for that. Another question type which does crop up from time to time is the matrix question type. And this is where the, um, the user is asked to review a list of short words or phrases and then select a radio button that relates to the correct description. So um, this is also a question type which you might consider. A reminder that under the draft content draft questions area you do have a very um, extensive search functionality to identify additional questions. So if you activate search by clicking show search here at the top you can also filter down via question type which is quite handy. You are of course free to apply as many of the available search parameters as required. A reminder that if you do need help on a specific screen, we always have this handy help area here on the right hand side of the screen at the top. Just hover your mouse over this question mark and a brief description will uh, appear for you. Other than that, you are of course free to access the Knowledge Smart Support help desk directly from within the link here on the right.